by June is all about finding and discovering your brand. Um, it's all about how I've taken uh, celebrities over the years and used them as muses to um, build their brands. Mm -hmm. And this show, every 30 minute episode, you will definitely see the transformation of um, an icon or a soon to be icon or a celebrity that goes through the process of working with me, as well as what goes on in my universe, in my life. Me as a mom, me working on multiple jobs at the same time. I mean, it's just an action packed, um, it's an event. Jaleel White, let him see your might. <laughs> There is a suede safari shirt underneath this sports jacket. And that's what it's about. Just taking things out of context and making it your own. I mean, it's about really, really owning this look right here. We added a beautiful pop of color. He loves color. But it's in all of this great neutral earthy tone. And he really makes it blood alive. Mixing your patterns, your stripes, and your plaids. But the suede shirt for me, I think, was really kind of a moment. You've worked with a lot of hip hop stars, mm -hmm. and one article that we've had on Cherry on Top recently was about how hip hop stars are leaning towards female wear. Now, what are your thoughts on the hip hop stars? Like, for example, Lil Wayne and the Amber Print jeans. You think about what hip hop has become. Mm -hmm. It's not just hip hop, it's hip hop. Mm -hmm. And the culture has gone very kind of rock and roll, it's very rogue, it's very alternative. And, you know, honestly, it's about translation. And most of those artists that are wearing, you know, women's clothing, you know, no one's anything with Steven Tyler who wore women's blouse. And they're rock stars. And I think that a hip hop artists have truly defined themselves as leaders. They've always been leaders, and they're selling pop records. And I say, bravo. I don't think that we should fall into stereotype about what hip hop is because if you think about the history of hip hop, when Ultimate MCs and Flash, Furious Five, they were wearing fringes and tight pants, which was extremely very feminine. So we really want to talk about the history of hip hop and what it really is. It's about the lyrics that they deliver and the message and the storytelling. It's not necessarily about you know being defined by what they wear. I mean that would be in, that wouldn't be fair. I have to be very very real. I never imagined I could wear braces. I was just see Michael Jordan in braces, and I loved his braces, but I knew what that would mean for me. So finally, once we got the color right, <laughs> you know, I was really able to find a brace that, you know, and again, not suspenders, but braces that, you know, really complimented the suit sure. and, um, you know, and made me feel like to live. Absolutely. Uh, right now, we're all in her universe. You are. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, Steve Urkel was more of an ultra hero, you know, in terms of what he represented and who he stood, you know, who he, what the character really stood for. It was a really um, aspiration for young people that felt like being awkward wasn't okay. He made it acceptable. He was very comfortable in that character for so many years, and you know, growing up with him was kind of it was it was quite it felt it was a delight, mm -hmm. and I think that. What it would take him to be separate from that character is just existing yeah. and every day living his life as himself, Julia White. And I think we'll slowly fall in love with that person every day as well. Alterations. Guys, you have to tailor your suit as if it was bespoke, made to measure. Your tailor is your savant. You know, he is the person that's going to consult you and tell you, you know, you are wearing second skin and make you feel confident when you step out. Yeah, I learned some cool things. I learned that um, basically I should have side vents and I should have a center, center cut. Of that's right. And uh, also tailoring my shirt. I've always got my pants tailored, I've always got my jackets tailored, but I've never bothered to tailor my own thread shirts. Because tailoring your shirt, it does, you know, it minimizes all the bulkiness when you wear your suits, which is great. Because he's also going to want to layer. He's going to want to put a sweater over this shirt one day, a V-neck, a cardigan. He's going to layer these pieces. It's all about layering and having fun. And the great thing about this is. He can wear this in so many different ways. Gentlemen, don't buy a suit or a sports jacket or any piece of your investment. You can only wear one way. Mm -hmm. You want versatility in your closet, ladies? Tell your men. Spread the word. Because it is about making that investment. Men spend a lot of money on their clothes, as do we. But guys more so than us because we can buy trendy pieces. We don't really care. We, they're disposable. But guys, you know, they make lifetime investments in their armor. And that's what I think a jacket should be. You know, Jill Producers gave my manager a call and, you know, said that uh, they had selected me to be a, uh, someone she would like to make over. 
my schedule, you know, can I make it out? Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, everything, the dates lined up. And, you know, I love fashion, actually. Mm -hmm. you know, I, I, I was telling a couple other gentlemen that, you know, the internet has really changed people's immediate perception of a person. Mm -hmm. And there's a couple of funnels out there, you know, just, I, I don't know how they got there, to be quite honest, but, uh, they reflect my, my style. Mm -hmm. And they're totally not a reflection of my style. It's mm -hmm. like, hey, maybe something I wore, or maybe shouldn't have even worn back when I was 26 or 27. Mm -hmm. And that that picture just continues to circulate. So I knew that it was important for me to come out, you know, when I got the phone call, and say, hey, let people know, this, this is my style, this is how I've evolved, mm -hmm. and, uh, and get those pictures out. We aired it out. Anything that needed to be discussed, we talked about it. We talked about this uh, this cord being the new velvet. <laughs> and I love that it's a day and a night trouser. And we went for more of a thinner, refined, you know, palette, which was really good. And the chocolate really looks very rich on him. It's a nice monochromatic tone with texture. And it's kind of nice to see a man kind of, you know, work with texture and be playful. The chocolate shoe, this boot. I love the boot. The boot's great. Amazing. Mm. Get it. Get it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh, darling. Yes. Ooh. And we talked about where the pants break. Can you give me some credit? Can I pick those out of my yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Show me the socks. Show me the socks. Show me the Stun on them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Every detail we found here. There was no detail we left untouched and unturned. And this stuff that he kind of fought, he fell in love with. He wanted a versatile, workable wardrobe, and I think everything he owns here makes sense. It's an evolution. Each generation is going to recognize you for different phases of your career. Mm -hmm. You know, when you talk about Eddie Murphy to me, I'm like 48 hours. You know, Beverly Hills Cop. Talk about Eddie Murphy to somebody maybe that's 21 years old. They're like, oh man, that Nutty Professor movie. Mm -hmm. But I remember seeing that as a kid. And that's what it is. And you have to respect that journey, not take yourself too seriously. And um, I'm enjoying it right now. There's, there's, there's clearly been a change in my career. And, um, and I'm just I'm, I'm just fortunate enough to be able to receive the change. You like? It's my mindset. I mean, all three outfits have really captured the essence of me. I mean, you would be surprised at things that I like most. I mean, I really love this tie. I really love this pocket square. I like it. Oh, the sweet shirt. I like the edge. Oh, yeah, even on the sweet shirt. I mean, come on, they all come. Yeah, they all come. All right. All right. Yeah, we sure are. We think so. And no belt. I mean, you, love, yeah, you don't need it. I, like I wanted you to see those tabs on the yeah. side of the trousers. The flat front detail is on that trouser. In the episode of House tomorrow, I got sight coming out soon. What you got? Hi, <laughs> June. I've been guesting like crazy. Okay. So the sight coming up. And I also have another project I can't even talk about. My manager was like, literally, was like, shut up. Oh, was that it, huh? <laughs> yeah, okay. so um, a lot of, like I said, really cool things coming down the pike. Hey, this is Jaleel White, and you're checking me out on cherryontop.com. June Ambrose here for Cherry on top. Oh, <laughs>